the is the food addiction, the carb addiction, the sugar addiction. Mm -hmm. uh, if someone and, and I am a sugar addict, I can raise my mm -hmm. hand and say that uh, for decades I was just on the sugar. And so when I first started this journey, I you know I discovered paleo. I read Lauren Cordain's book, and I'm like, booyah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, and so I started doing that with all the yams and all the quinoa and all the agave nectar. And I felt like I maybe got a little healthier, but I didn't lose any damn weight at all. And, and I was eating strict paleo, but it was too, it was too high in carbohydrates, right? It wasn't nutrient dense enough. It was still inflammatory. And so it was clo closer to a proper human diet than the standard American diet, but it still was not yet a proper human diet. And so I kept researching and looking and I, that's my fear is that a lot of people with metabolic disease or with food addiction, uh, which I'm not even sure I believe in food addiction. I believe in sugar and carb addiction, yeah. definitely highly processed carb addiction. Uh, but I, I really feel like a lot of the eating disorders and food addictions basically come from somebody trying to feed this very ancient physiological complex system, highly processed nutrient void modern food. I think that's going to give you uh, mental issues with food. That's going to give you eating disorders. That's going to give you binging disorders because your body's looking for a specific set of things from the food we eat. It's looking for that. And if you're not giving it what it's looking for, then it's going to do it literally. Uh, if you're starving an animal, that animal will do anything to get to real species appropriate animal food. It will, it will chew off its own leg to get the real food, to get the freedom, to get the food freedom. And, and you, humans are the, exactly the same. And that's why I think a lot of these weird things that have developed in the mental health space, it's because you're basically either slowly poisoning your body and mind or not giving it the nutrient density that it needs or giving it the false uh, lack of satiety signals or encouraging the false hunger signals. All that stuff together mucked up is gonna lead to eating disorders, mental health disorders, and, and you know, the food weirdness around food. And whereas if you were eating an ancestrally appropriate, nutrient dense, low carbohydrate, uninflammatory diet. And that indeed, uh, there's a dietitian, Michelle Hearn, who had severe eating disorder, severe anorexia. And literally, she's a carnivore now and has, and, and she says, you know, obviously, I'm still me. I still have the propensity, but as long as I'm eating a, a carnivore diet, I don't have any of the symptoms. I don't have any of the problems. I don't have any of the pathology of that disease. And the, this, this story has replicated itself now hundreds of thousands of times all around the world. And so it, it kind of becomes maddening and, and farcical at some point when you're like you know you keep looking for the stampede of doctors to be like wow man this is crazy the results of this and you're like where are, all the, where are the where are my brothers and sisters in medic medicine is there's like they're still over here yelling at somebody and pissed off because they wouldn't take their stat yeah. so it's kind of it's like okay whatever yeah. Well, yeah. And, and, uh, you know, so many people ask me, it's just like, well, why don't we, why haven't people been saying this? Like, why don't more people know this? And it's like, yeah, that, that's a very good question. And, and I think it's exactly uh, what you were saying before is because there's no billion dollar drug to push behind it. You know, in fact, this is probably going to clear off, uh, several billion dollar drugs off, off of the market. And, uh, mm -hmm. and, and so, you know, there, there's the, 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 you know, the financial drive is, is sort of in the against us, unfortunately. But I think that, you know, eventually the truth will out. And I think it is exactly as you're saying, because this is, this is people are having real results. And they're, and they are, are absolutely revolutionizing the, their health and their well being. And I think that that's just, it's only a matter of time before uh, the rest of the world pick up you know, a few years ago, I, I didn't really meet anybody who knew what a, uh, you know, a carnivore diet was, they didn't know what the hell that was, they thought I was absolutely yeah. out of my mind. And, uh, you know, now I, you know, I mention to people when they see I'm, I'm only eating meat, they say, well, yeah, I just do a strict carnivore diet. They go, oh, you know, my brother does that, you know, or I know someone does. And, and now they even know it by name, they know someone who does it. So I think it's, it's already starting to get that, that grassroots uh, movement behind it.